The huge window at TESA Spaceport used to provide a viewing opportunity to watch other star pilots engage in some comic relief. Landing at Lorville used to be one of the most hated things in my Star Citizen career. And that's been fixed. And currently it's kind of boring standing at the window. But that may be about to change, folks, because in 3.10, we have some updates to the flight model. The view out the window of TESA Spaceport is anything but beautiful. Now there is a gorgeous ship just sitting right there, the Constellation Phoenix, but you see this, this ugly, industrial, smog-filled, let's just say, Lorville is not the most beautiful place in the world. But it used to be fun to just stand here and watch other star pilots try to land their ship. Now between large winds that were added in 3.8, 3.9, and the ridiculous flight model upgrades that we've had in the past to the removal of the original landing system. Landing has become anything but routine. In fact, in Lorville, in our corp, when you're trying to battle restricted areas, it could become deadly. But for the last few months, I'd say I've had a much better time landing. More so when they reduce the winds that you would encounter here in TESA Spaceport. But there's an update coming in 3.10 that might change all this. That update is called Thruster Efficiency Curves and Aerodynamics. Now there's a lot to this one. It's not going to just fix the way that thrusters react in atmosphere. It's going to affect the way that your ship behaves in atmosphere. Now, why does that make me think landing may be affected? I have no idea about this until after the PTU comes out, but this is just my thinking. Currently, one of the recommendations for landing is to point your ship nose down right at the area that you want to land on. So if you're coming into one of the small little hangars, you're going to point your nose straight down at it. And as you get closer, you're going to try to lift your nose up and try to keep yourself level and then lower yourself right into your landing area. Now that would all be well and good, but if you think about how this is trying to say that things are gonna work more realistically, how are those thrusters set up on your ship? They're set up to fire vertically and that's about it. So when you point your nose down, there's gonna be limited ability to keep that ship in the air, especially if it's non-aerodynamic. Well, let's just say that's going to be the case for every ship. So if you're pointing a Connie straight down at that area, how is that going to stay in the air when you're trying to hover? It's actually going to try to accelerate towards that area. To get the best out of your landing skills, you're going to have to come in horizontal. Now, all this is speculation. But when I read between the lines, if they're trying to make it more realistic, that means that we're going to have to land more like a helicopter. And with the removal of the original landing system, where you actually had a holographic readout, a dot in a circle, and you would move that dot into the center of the circle, you're really going to have a very hard time trying to line up with where your landing pad is. Now this is my problem with CIG. They talk about improving gameplay on one hand, and then they throw elements into the game that may make gameplay more frustrating. Here's an example of what I was saying before. The ship is coming straight down, right over its landing pad. With these updates, I fear that that method of landing may cause catastrophic results, which is not going to improve the gameplay experience. It's going to ruin the gameplay experience. However, there are two other things that are going on with this update that may, may make everything I've just said 
a moot point. And that's the improvements that are coming to both the building block UI being added to more ships and being improved and the improved HUD. Right now, the improved HUD, I think, is just going to be the contrast and the viewability of what you can see through the HUD as you go over light and dark areas of your screen. But I can see that there needs to be more updates and maybe that original landing system added back in. Please, CIG, give us a landing mode on our HUD. That way, we don't have to use external views and these methods of essentially dive bombing right into our landing pads to make a successful run. Now, I want to say this. If it does come to pass that they have not made any kind of correction or addition to the HUD to allow us to land better, to allow us to line up better, you're going to hear a lot of people angry over losing full cargo, losing three quarters or all of their UEC, which you should never do, just from not being able to return and land correctly. I'm saying it this way, I've made landing very routine. I always come in flat and then I lower myself down, but there are times where I do try out the other method to dive bomb in and I do find it more effective than the way I do it, but I use an external view over my ship, zoom out and wait until I'm aligned over the top of a landing pad and then I lower myself down to it because I kind of knew this was coming. I find talking about the professions inside of Star Citizen and how to make money to be something that's only relevant for this one day in this one month of this one patch. And the reason for that is being still in alpha, things change greatly. I've been trying a little bit of everything lately and I haven't finished my series on bounty hunting yet because I have a feeling that's going to change a lot over time especially when we could start bringing back live bounties. But right now, today, I want to talk a little bit about trading because trading is one of those things that has a lot of risk involved with it for two reasons. The first is there's way too much instability in the servers today for me to tell you to take on trading as your primary source of making UEC in the verse. I would diversify what I do. I would run boxes, I would do bounty hunting missions, I would take personal missions and get a, get a whole bunch of friends together, clear out bunkers, I'd have fun. I would say fun is the true payout for Star Citizen today. There are many people filling up their carracks and their caterpillars with huge amounts of UEC worth of SCU and moving them between different places within the Stanton system and making millions and millions and millions of UEC. And then there's some who load up their ship with two thirds, three quarters or all of the UEC they have and a 30k kills them and knocks out all the UEC they've made for the last week or the last day, whatever it might be. There's also an element of piracy in the game. Not only are there NPC pirates, there's human pirates that want to take your stuff or maybe just want to get off by killing you. And that is all part of the game. Now the PvP slider won't be in the game for some time and we are all kind of compressed into this one tiny star system. Pyro will be online within a year and then we can have some really lucrative trade routes as we start running into areas that are highly contested with many pirates in them. But right now, we're just running between moons and a planet, or between planets, or between planets, star systems, moons, whatever it is. I've been trading for about a week now, and it's been on and off and diversified in between all of the other missions that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of bounty hunting, I've been running a few boxes every now and then, and I've been trading, the main route I've been doing is right here between Bezdek and Lorville, and then taking the train over to the Central Business District and selling. On my secondary account, Cosmic Cat, I actually went out of my way to try to create a situation that I would lose all of my cash. And I almost did. I got myself from 975,000 all the way down to 375,000. I lost 600,000 on one run. And I just wanted to experience that once. 
Yes, it sounds masochistic, but it is my backup account. It's my account that I use to experience things as a new person would experience. On Batgirl, I have a wide variety of ships, and I can do a wide vari variety of different roles in any mission that I'll be flying. But on Cosmic Cat, I essentially have a Titan, I have a Cutlass, and I have a Pisces, and I have the free ship that was given to everybody, the Freelancer. I made many runs to get up to that one mill. I even rented the Cat for a few days for free when the Drake Defense Con was going on. And that's when I lost everything, because I tried to look at it from the point of view of, here's somebody that's been working their butt up forever, and they're the person that's going to go out and rent it, and what's going to happen? And I'd have to say that the 30K didn't hurt as bad because that was me. I knew better than to put that much into one ship and lose it all. The next time I went out, I took the Caterpillar one more time. I got jumped by pirates and I got brought all the way down to 75K. I can say it this way. It is a very lucrative venture going into trading when you have the cash to spare, but never ever ever trade when you don't have the cash to spare never put everything in your hull all at once or three quarters of it or two thirds of it because the loss of that can bring upon a huge emotional reaction i really love this game i love that there's so much to do in it i love that there's so many people playing different ways whether they're playing on the good side or the bad side the game has a very diverse set of people playing it. And I'm very excited about what's coming, especially with the new trading app that will give us better opportunities to trade between each other. But as far as cargo running goes in the game, it's an at your own risk, A-Y-O-R, <laughs> at your own risk endeavor today. And I'm gonna say this, diversify, diversify, diversify run boxes, do bounty hunting, trade, do whatever you can to make that UEC and spend it. Spend it on ships, spend it on upgrades, spend it on armor, spend it. Because there are so many bugs in this game, if you have to character reset one too many times, you may come back into the game with nothing. That's my thoughts for this week, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click on the thumbs up button below. If you're a subscriber or do subscribe today, please click on the notification icon below to be notified of all my future videos. And if you are a patron of mine, thank you so much. My soundproofing on my wall is coming along great because of y'all and I really appreciate it. And I love you all, thank you. And if you do wanna become a patron to help me make this channel better, Go to Patreon, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Batgirl. Even as little as $1 a month is going to help me out immensely and allow me to make this channel grow and be even better. And send me notes through Patreon to tell me what kind of subjects you want me to cover here in the game. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there and I'll talk to you soon.